Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Drinking Thoughts Podcast. My name is CJ Sketch. I'm Tom Keeney. And what are you drinking tonight, Tom? Uh, maple whiskey. Maple whiskey. I am drinking uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. 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 I think. Sauvignon. I don't fucking speak German. Like, come on, guys. French. The fuck is French? It's the language where you don't pronounce the second half of the words. Well, oh, the end of the words. <laughs> you don't pronounce the last three letters. No. <laughs> like no, sometimes it's four. Really? Five. Oh, what was it? No, I used to back I E O U X. Which company is it? I think it's Pontiac. Pontiac. Yeah. Makes the Grand Prix. Yeah. And they're like, it, I'm on a Grand Prix. They look aw- awesome. Yep. And my mom was like, it's a Grand Prix, and I'm like, there's an X though. And she's like, you don't pronounce the X. But I'm like, it's a Grand Prix. And she's like, Prix means, you know. Pricks are for adults. It, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and she's like, you don't want to say that in, in France. So I was just like, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, no, they don't. Why? I don't know. Perry. What's Perry? the S there for? <laughs> right? No, Paris. Um, no, absolutely. And then there's the, what is the, what are, what's that one that really pisses me off? Como. The word como. Yep. Is, let, so if if you're speaking Spanish, it's C O M O. Yep. If you're speaking French, it's C O M M E N T. Comment. The English word is comment como? is how you spell como. Are you fucking in kidding French. me? <laughs> wow. Okay, that's fucked up. Yo, um, what about like I think in Italian it's C O M M O E. Some of that I don't know. Still, that makes more sense. Well, I like that about language, how it's como, como, como. It's like, that's three different languages for the yeah. same word. But anyways. Well, that's because root languages. Yeah. Um, and there's that weird fucking H thing, or the little uh, little thing that hangs off the H. I always thought that was cool. Oh, uh, squiggle? Yeah. yeah. They have it on the C, too. Yeah. I don't know what it does. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't either. Anyway, um, so we were going to be talking Hi-tri- about... Uh, poetry. Poetry. Which relates to the words that we were just talking about. Do you fancy yourself a poet, Tom? Yeah. I have since, like, I don't know, eighth grade, something like that. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Tom, I lied about poetry. Okay. Do you masturbate, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> totally relevant. <laughs> I said I lied about poetry. There's no relevance now. Yeah, I mean, but no, you lying about poetry is irrelevant to whether or not I masturbate. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> back to poetry. We never left poetry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my asking about masturbation is leaving poetry. Uh, yeah, it was irrelevant, but we went right back to poetry. Right. Anywho. <laughs> so we left. If we went back, then we left. Yeah, but you just, just said like we're leaving back now. to poetry as if we hadn't already gone back to poetry. I'm going to do that in the podcast. Okay. I'm going to take another drink so I can handle this. <laughs> Not that I need it. I'm the one causing the problem. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Any whore, really. Anyone will do. Maybe we're going to start filming these, but I actually want to make, like, a set over in that space we don't really use before I uh, go about filming them. You so. wanted to do a lot of things with that space we don't really use and shot down my ideas. What were your ideas? Have a table there that we can sit down and eat at and maybe have a corner for crap so it doesn't spread out across the counter and a place where we could sit down with guests and have a table where Steve could do some drawing or something. Like, it could still be... You wanted to do a creative corner yeah, with, like, the whiteboard on the wall and stuff. Well, the whiteboard idea went went down pretty quickly. Yeah, so did all the other ones. Well, what were your other ideas? What a, what do you? No, you had other ideas. Oh, I just wanted to have a dining table, like a dining room, but it's a corner. How much of that? I mean, I guess we could do that. We <sighs> almost did. I set up the table halfway, and then you decided to move it to your room. You mean my desk? Yeah, because it's not a dining table. It has those sides. So? So, th- that's, no, it's not a dining table. It was going to be in the corner, so we wouldn't need the back anyway. Oh, my God. No. All right, so we very much left poetry. Yeah, we, we yeah. go back to poetry. <laughs>
Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. We're having a discussion here. It needs to be discussed. But see, now it requires okay, editing. So, look, so, no, 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 it doesn't. I know. No, it doesn't. But they. I'll don't. quick edit out like the clips, the clicks, of me hitting shit. But no, we we can talk about this on the podcast. Let's talk about this on the podcast, motherfucker. I like the dining room idea as long as it's an actual dining room table. The only problem I really have with another table is it's another place for me to put crap on. Let's be honest. Yeah, right? but we can restrict that. I can say, hey, no, that's not okay. How well did that work for you putting crap over there? Hmm? Hmm? How well did that work, Tom? It works when I really make a point about it. When I actually, like, say, hey, this is my space. Don't put your crap here. No, no. I'm talking about you putting the fucking cardboard boxes in the trash. Uh, Yeah. Where I fucking told you... On multiple occasions, hey, don't do that. It looks bad. Yeah, but see, there wasn't a better alternative. Okay, look, we're going to go get a table next weekend. It's going to be an actual official-looking table. It's going to be spick and span. It's going to look good. And maybe we'll film stuff. Maybe we'll paint the wall. Who knows? Back okay. to poetry. <sighs> no, no, wait, you had it coming? You... All I want Say is bitch. to basically have a dining room, Say and you're saying, bitch. and maybe we'll paint the walls and film stuff. That's not relevant to having a dining area. We can eat in the podcast area. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a dining room podcast area. I'm saying compromise here, bro. Come on. And you're I'm saying, saying no, I want my dining room. Eating area that I I don't know. I probably wouldn't really use it that much anyway. We've been living together for a year and a half without a designated eating area. Yeah, I know, and it's fine, and it's cool. <laughs> and but like <laughs> we had a We di- are we, we had so twenty you, something year old bachelors. When we walked we into this official dining room. When you walked into this apartment when it was completely empty, mm-hmm. there was the kitchen. There was a living room area, and there was what appeared to me to be a dining area. And we don't use the dining area. We didn't use the dining area at our last apartment either. We... Yeah, because you put stuff there, and then we couldn't (laughs) do anything else with it. I was planning on having a dining area there too. And then this giant speaker over here was put in the one corner, and then your desk that we were already talking about was put in the other corner. Well, you need to speak up more then. But we'll, you know, we'll get a dining table, <laughs> but I think we'll also film the podcast there. I'm just saying. That could be acceptable. All right. No, Ooh, okay. must we do that? That be Shush. Good. No. Tell me your idea. So, uh, if we put this, uh, this is a, this is an individual podcast. Let's go back to poetry, and then we'll talk about the rest of this later. Okay, I'm poetry. That. Poetry relates to music, and I've been writing raps a lot, as mm-hmm. I told you. And there's just one rap. Why is why is this why is this here? You oh. drunk? Leaving your bottles? Round soda? Whatever. Shh. <laughs> Shh. No. They don't need to know I drink non-alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Why the fuck do you have a soda can in a brown paper bag? I want everyone to think I'm a keep drunk. Keep up appearances. <laughs> keep it up appearances. <laughs> Always let your. I've been sober for six months, Tim, but no one else knows. So they let me get away with stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Being the town drunk means I'm not accountable for things. <laughs> No. Okay, but no, poetry, so I've working on this song, and I've been working on all my songs, and songwriting's hard, man. Can't me. Like, by yourself, I think it's pretty hard. Well, let's talk about what you're writing, and then I'll talk about what I've been writing. Tomonkey4.tumblr.com Alright, I said let's talk about what you're writing, not right. plug your shit. But that's where my writing is. Good for you, don't plug your shit, until I say you can plug your shit. Uh... No. So, on to monkey4.tumblr.com, I have a bunch of writing uh, of poetry that I started that blog in 2013, I believe. Wow. Spot on. Um, I'm a fucking genius. 
No, uh, I think it was slightly over Shut two up. years ago. <laughs> yeah. No, I got it right. Stop because it. Because it was when I still had my air cast on, I think, after breaking my ankle. Stop it. I got it right. No, it was still 2013, but <laughs> it was slightly over two years ago now. Okay. Good. 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 Or maybe slightly less. It was around Christmas time. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... I really thought you had it longer than that. That's strange. Okay. So... Uh, Tell me one of your poems. All is fair in love and war, love and war, there's nothing more, so give and take, destroy and make. All is created, so all is fake. Yeah. It's the only one I have memorized in its entirety. <laughs> yeah, every time you say that one, well, outside of this context, you always you say that one sometimes, and I'm like, what is that from? Yeah. And then I remember, oh yeah, that's right, Tom wrote it. Yeah. Because I'm good, and I know it. Yeah, shut and the fuck up. Other people know Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You egotistical, pretentious hey, so person. By the way, go check out um, Tom's What's Wrong With Me uh, ego episode. Mm. Anyways. Yeah. Great example right there. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> hey, you can't plug things unless I tell you. you can. I can plug whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> as long as you're plugging my stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something real quick, ladies and gentlemen. I want to be... I, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's absolutely terrible. Well, good luck, people. <laughs> that's what anything is for. Now, look nope. at the lines there. Well, okay. <laughs> very, very different. Okay. You should go back up on the couch. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay, back to the podcast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, all is fair in love and war. You know what that says to me? A that cliche. Yeah, that's. I mean, you kind of stole the first line. Yeah. Oh no, no, I do that a ton. So I take cliches and just random things that I hear other people saying, or like quoting Shakespeare and stuff, and I make my own poetry based off of it. I like taking something that's very common and flipping it. To something that's actually interesting. So it's all in fair, all is fair in love and war. Love and war. There's nothing more. There's nothing more. Well, that's not true. But Are you sure? Because in some regards, everything is either an attack, or it's a thing of love of some sort. You know, it, it's nice. Miss Moth, I love you. It's either nice or it's mean. There's not generally. He chewed that her up and true. spat her out. What? Source fed. Uh, okay. <laughs> I should have oh. known by the accent. All is fair, right? All is fair in love and war. Love and war forevermore. No, there's nothing more. There's nothing more. Okay, forevermore, I, I like better, but okay. Yeah, well, then I may as well just say nevermore. <laughs> okay, so lo- lo- for, there's nothing more. Okay. So give and take. So give and take, yep. Because, you know, that's essentially what everything is. Yeah. Destroy and make. Yeah. Uh, did it stop recording? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Shush. Uh, Give and take, destroy and make. All is created, so all is fake. Guys, Tom told me to shush, shush, so I'm not talking on this podcast. Awesome. Finally, I have some peace and quiet. Uh, You little bitch. (laughs) You know it. I'm quiet all the fucking time. Shut shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) When you're listening to other people speak. And then you laugh real loud if they're funny. Yeah. Okay, I'm a loud laugher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I enjoy I, myself. I accept your apology. No, you don't. <laughs> ah, sort of. All for love more, love more, forever more. No. And love more, there's nothing more. So, so give, give and take, take, destroy and make. All is created. All is created, so yeah. all is fake. But not all is... Well, the universe was created. Whether by natural or supernatural means. Does that make it fake, though? Like, I mean, then what's real? Nothing's real. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So nothing so, matters, is what so you're saying. So don't worry about it. So we might as well just, kill ourselves right now. It's real depressing shit well, you're writing there, buddy. Just, that's destruction. But it, but it's also... Or we can fuck and make things. On the... Not fucking right. make things, but fuck and make things via sexual intercourse. Do some sculpture and while... pregnancy and birth. <laughs> <laughs> Do some sculpture give, while we're having sex. Give a reach sex. around to the pottery while you get a reach around... <laughs> Well, I've 
Patrick Swayze scene went a very different way on the remake of Ghost. Dear God. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's an old film. Or Patrick Swayze, whatever. And yeah. So okay, that's some, so that's kind of depressing. Is that how you feel about life, Tom? I mean, no, you're hitting the basically. Button. You feel like I so around eighth grade, coincidentally, maybe, but probably these might be linked. Um, I went into a bit of a depressed phase where yeah, my right. thoughts were much more negative. Um, and then I eventually moved out of that by continuing to think. I overthought my way through depression, I think, where I realized that, yeah, nothing matters, but nothing matters, so have fun. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this evening we're selling you the finest in mental health, uh, prescription medication, Tom Keeney's, uh, overthinking pills. Uh, just take one right before breakfast and... Think away the day. Yeah. I don't I think just you said can your real name. Overthink. Is that okay? What? I just said your real name. Is that okay? I don't care. Alright, I mean, some people care. I think we've been over the you past. You said... Don't care. My name is uh, Tom Keeney. That's my stage name and whatever. Tom is only short for, like, one thing? Three names. Three? Yeah. Thomas... Thomasina, I guess, technically is a name. It's weird, but it technically is a name. Tommen? Tommen. Uh, oh. Tommen. Tommen. Okay. No, S T U M. Thomas. So Thomas. it's not hard to f figure out what my real name is. Also, you know, I tell people to stalk me on the internet. So. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, so after our. But yeah, this podcast yes. is brought to you by uh, Tom Kinney's Think Away the Day Pills. Um, you can buy them at www.tkthinkingpills.com. Uh, they're about 50 bucks for a 30 day. Supply? Mm -hmm. Um, check it out. Yep. But, so, so you went through this depressive state and you got out of this. Good for you, man. I, I Well, I, I don't... I do that every fucking see, day. Like, I'm <laughs> somewhat hesitant to call it a depressed phase because mm. depression is a serious thing and I don't feel like I could diagnose my eighth grade self. Um, but th there was a lot of negative thoughts and I got out of it by just continuing to analyze the things that I was thinking about, and I eventually got towards the positive end of the spectrum where I have such quotes as, nothing matters, so have fun. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's right, that reminds me of the, yeah, because of the will, 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 nothing matters quote. I think. He does that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. What, what, what's, what was the last poem you wrote about? Uh, I, watch it. I don't know. I can check real quick. Okay, sure. But off the top of my head, I don't remember. Well, on the subject of depressing, the last oh, poem well, I wrote was about suicide. And there's gonna be a video possibly about where I perform it um, over some like stock footage or whatever. Um, so I wrote a real short. Th no, that's not a poem. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my, the last actual poem that I wrote is titled, To the Girl I Made Up for the Sake of This Poem. And uh, it's a very short poem, as most of my poems are, because once I make them too long, they start getting worse and worse, I think. Yeah, so yeah I know that. <laughs> I tend to cut them off before that happens. Uh, but they have no... It has no notes on Pumblr, Tumblr yeah. right now. So, guys, go go to that, that link, that URL, yeah. in the description down below. Um, if you're on YouTube, and uh, give it some notes. Tell, tell Tom, Tom, Tom how bad he is. So, <clears throat> the stone steps you walked down today are like my brain, and when you fell, I fell for you, because I saw you fucked up as bad as my brain is. Uh, and I wrote that while working, doing uh, trays, and I thought it was interesting because I used one word as both a you past just, tense verb and a present tense adjective. You could have My just mastery of the English language is incredible. And Dear God. <laughs> I could also use that same word as a future tense adjective and verb. You're... <laughs> Your master. Oh, no, I'm not even yeah. gonna. You know what? No, we're not even well, gonna I, touch on it. So no, no, I no, basically, no, just, I basically <laughs> just read the tags on the poem <laughs> because you know I d wrote those. 
you 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 tagged it as as my mastery of the English language. Really? Let me see this. Let, no, I gotta see. Wow. <laughs> no, he, ladies and gentlemen, he actually did that in real life. Yeah. Like, if this you isn't a joke, this isn't a search. script. My mastery of the English language is incredible, period. Then you will get probably you just his point. get that. Just his. I guarantee you yep. that no one else is that fucking egotistical. <laughs> I mean, I'm searching it right now. I'm so damn good. Check me out. Like... You're not going to be famous. Like those are the kind of people. Like no. you no. Like you need to, you need to be like humble first, and then once you're famous, <laughs> you go. I'm so that? fucking awesome. Like you don't even know me. Like what was right, I was watching so, that. Well, hold on, hold on. No. I got, it's my turn. It's my turn. Yeah. I was watching the the save that money, um, music video, and like during the music video, he tell like he has like part of the. So he's a separate video. It's like the documentary of how they made the music video for basically pocket change. You know, like, there was, like, a couple bits of money, but, like... A couple bits of money. No, a couple, like, a couple things that they had to pay, like, a little bit for. But they basically just went around, like, being like, hey, can we film here? Cool. Yeah. Like, um, you know. And then, so there was one where, like, it was, uh, Rich Homie Kwan was doing, like, a part of a verse on the song. And, um, they, they're in Georgia, and there's this ice cream truck, and they're like, yo, can we film with your ice cream truck? And literally... They're like, they're basically saying, like, yeah, sure. And Quan goes, hey, man, it's the rich homie Quan, so you gotta say yes. Bitch, no, they do not. <laughs> you, like, they're yeah, an ice okay. cream truck. Like, excuse me. There are times me. when you need to stay a little bit humble. <laughs> I'm the but, rich homie Quan. Like, shut up, bro. Like, but is, there, there's someone on Tumblr who, uh, thought that a poem that I wrote with someone else was her favorite poem for several months. I think it still is, last time I checked. Last cool. Um Yeah, but... That's the one that you wrote, wrote with I don't know girl. how much of that is who's... me, because the other person here is Inkskinned, uh, whose actual name is... or initials are R.I.D. I don't think I can give out her real name, because she tends to keep that quiet, I think. Rid. Okay. It's yeah, that girl. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so she beat John Green in some sort of writing contest where you use Twitter to vote. What is it, was it a poetry writing contest, though? No, it was just writing. I think. I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly the details. but she A lot has, of people actually hate John She Green, has a few right? books now. And I only know where to find one of them. But, yeah. That's, I mean, good for her, you yeah. know? People What's have the quotes from her tattooed. Are you serious? Yeah. No, if you I didn't search, even know if if you search on Tumblr for Ink Skinned, there's thousands of things of people, like, dedicating things to her. Like, drawing for her poetry, pictures of ta- tattoos. And what is, of what does she quotes. do? Uh, she's in college for something, <laughs> I think. She, bro, like, she needs to get on the road with that. Like, yeah, is she bro. on button poetry? She got button poetry? You need to get on that button so. poetry, bro. I don't know if she... You need to get on the poetry okay. circuit, man. Make some money off this. Yeah. Or she could be like... Like, one of our friends, we'll call M, um, from UML, who is amazing at sculpting. Oh. Like, she's easily my favorite sculptor of clay. And yet she's a history major. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought... Because, like, I know her from art people. Yeah. But... I, so I thought from her work, which is incredible, that she was an art major. She was a sculpting major. Nope. She's a history major. And I'm just like, what? People tend to... Sometimes are good at things that they don't really care about being good at. I'm yeah. good at a bunch of things that I don't care about. Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't think she doesn't care about it. I think it's her, her main passion. Yeah. Is, um, is history, and, you know, and I think she's t- in teaching in general. Yeah. But let me see if I, I mean, can... she's in China teaching right now, because she likes teaching. Yeah. Do I want to... I don't even know if I want to read this poem, because it's a little long, and I don't know how to actually say it. Mm. But you know the suicide poem I wrote? There's... I, a, a, I say suicide poem. That relates to a different poem. Suicidal? Well, 
It's about a girl committing suicide. Oh yeah, I read that. She, okay. she commits suicide. Yeah, but um, I'll wait. I'll wait, and I'll practice delivering this. But yeah, it's it's like it's one, two, three stanzas, which doesn't give you a great stanzas like quatrains or quatrains are four four yeah. lines. No, there's like there's like ten, fifteen lines oh, yeah. per stanza. So it's long. It's a long poem, yeah. yeah. Um, and it, oh man, it was, it was it was an interesting time writing that, because of you know my own personal things with that, but so to my to my song, which is also poetry, um, and that's why with music, like I get I get so pissed that like it's not. It's not per- it's not by the writer performed by Rihanna or something like that. Yeah, which I really think it is because like a performance well, is great, but with, like the writing is so important. With music, but there's a lot of- two writings. There's the writing of the words and there's the writing of the music itself. So you need to give credit. There's the composer who is writing music, and then there's the lyricist. Who so is I guess yeah, the there words. really should be like. Well, it, I mean, if and we then did there's it, the if people properly, actually making the music that goes behind what this yeah. singer sings. Yeah, so there'd, there'd be a lot of credits to be like, yeah. and this one was made by 10 minutes later, yeah. and here you go. Like, So I guess we can't do that, and you usually only do the performer, but like, if it's like one writer, like I think it should be like, song written by Neo being performed by Chris Brown, or something like that. Yeah. Because like, Kesha writes a bunch of songs. For, um, uh, what's it called? For other people. And she, like, writes a bunch of her own music and stuff like that. And then you have people like Beck, who does, like, his own music. Um, he basically does everything. I don't know who that is, but okay. (laughs) He's the guy that, like, that won the award. And then, like, Kanye West was like, you need to respect artistry. And then people are like, I'm sorry. I think you're specifically talking about Beyonce should have won the award. Beyonce had ten writers on the one song, yeah. as well as like all these instruments, all these people. Ten writers for one song. <laughs> well, yeah. You, so usually, what you do is you have writers that do like they just do like the small parts. They'll make like a hook for it. They'll make like a chorus, or they'll just oh, like. That's why it. songs seem to be so random sometimes. Well, that that's a different thing, <laughs> but. Um, so it's like a writing team. Like, you don't have two writers yeah. for Game of Thrones. There's like 10, 20 well, people. Well, okay, yeah, but that's that's a series of True, things. true, true. But it's like people working on different things. But then you have Beck, who plays every instrument on his track. I'm pretty sure he mixes the tracks and produces the tracks. Yeah. And writes the music and the lyrics and everything. And it's like, you need to respect artistry. He's a fucking artist and a half. Like, that's one thing that, like... A lot of people hate on Justin Bieber, but Justin Bieber, he, like as a musician, he's pretty talented. He plays like ten instruments. He writes a lot of his music. Like he knows how to play it. He doesn't play them. No, but I think songs. he. I think for the most part, he plays the drums on all of his tracks. I think. Mm. I don't know. He may not like actually do it, but he's a yeah. talented person. Yeah. Like regardless sure. of his of who he is, he's a talented person and. People seem to forget that, and sure. I always feel like the need to pay devil's advocate for him. But um, but the song that I was writing about there's also there's one guy who writes for a ton of different pop singers. There and is. I forget his name. He's like Doc, Doctor Luke, I think. Oh, or something like that. Well, there's uh, one producer. I went on his. No, he's the writer. Okay. I went on the Wikipedia page for him and just scrolled down the list, and it's like yeah. thirty different pop artists. It's true. Over the past, I think good years. like. Good Charlotte, like the Madden twins, do a shit ton of writing for other like pop punk bands. Yeah. Uh, Ed Sheeran does like a used to do a ton of writing for other people. Yeah, he's written for Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift uh-huh. himself, uh, he wrote that one song that he gave to One Direction, uh, and then there's another song that he he did. He and then he played a rendition of it that I loved much better than the actual band that played it. But right now, so what am I writing? I'm wanting one, two, three. Four, five songs all at once here. And their subjects are a first song. The first song is um is about, like, a guy, and he's... So, so I always feel weird, because, like, 
I used to think, like, back when Kesha started out, there's a big thing of, like, Kesha's not a party girl. She's not that person. Like, she doesn't go out partying and drinking every night, and she's not, like, as crazy in that manner as people think. She's batshit, by the way. Like, if sure. you watch her interviews, she's, like, batshit. But, like, a lot of people are like, Kesha's a lie. She doesn't, she's not even a, you know, she doesn't go out partying like that, but she makes all these party songs. Well, I mean, it's what she is interested in. So, like, when I write songs, a lot of them aren't about me. Yeah. Or about what I do. Right. What, like, so, and so I'm, I'm struggling a lot with that, with writing these songs. Though, I mean, I think part of being a good writer is being able to write about people that aren't like you. I agree. If I could only create characters that are just like me, I wouldn't be good at telling stories. True, true. It There's... would just be me meeting me, doing things with me, fighting me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because if I remember correctly, there's... And then we'll get back to my things. But I remember correctly, it's either an actual, like, story, or it was, like, a thing in a movie. But it's essentially some, like, 60-year-old something, white, middle-class dude, writing a story about, like, a 16-year-old black girl from, like, the projects. And, like, the idea is that, like two completely different lives yeah. but he's able to write in that voice and make it realistic and that's sort of what makes him a good writer yeah um, and I completely agree so like so this first song um, is about a guy who is and there's I guess there's a little bits of me in terms of like struggling and whatnot but the first song is about a guy um, wanting to be better um, in his relationship um, and he feels like he um he feels like he can't, he's not good enough for the girl he's with. But he's making a promise to her. And, like, the court, the court, the, um. You want to just read it? No, because, again, it's long. Oh, yeah. The, well. the chorus, like, part is, like, uh, and this, I don't, I actually want to rewrite this, but it's, I'm making a promise to you, and I hope that you promise to, um, is like the only two lines I have. Okay. Of the chorus so far, <laughs> but it, uh, there's no point in reading that. But the point is, it's so it's like he's making promises, like I, I want to be with you forever. So this is essentially like it, it's almost like a dude kind of writing like a "Will You Marry Me" song or like a vows song. So like that dude. A proposal. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> sure, but it's more like it, it would be more like I'm performing this at my wedding. I wish got married, and this like that's what this wedding means. Okay, it's kind of like a vows song. Um, so yeah, and he's and he's struggling with that. Um, and then there's the next song, which is the one I was starting to talk about, which is this guy. He's like 16, 16, 17. He's young, um, and that's why it starts off with "We were young, we couldn't help it." Um, Duh. <laughs> Duh. Well, no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, so it's like, um, so, um, so it's about this guy, and it's like his first time having sex. Mm. And, um, and it goes through, and it goes back and forth from like the actual situation to like what's going on in his head. So a lot of it's struggling with like, like, what am I doing? Am I doing this right? Yeah. Is this what it's supposed to be? Like, the first verse is all about him, like, thinking, like, should I be doing this? Maybe we should be more committed. Like, I don't actually know her. Like, Oh, so it's, a, like, a one-night stand? Who is she? Or? Well, that's what he's thinking. Is like, yeah. is this going to be a one-night stand? Is this going to be something better if I pull back? Maybe I've ruined all my chances. Um, and that's, like, the first verse. Um, okay. And then I'm getting to the chorus, and then I'm starting up the second verse now. Uh, I haven't done the chorus, sorry. I'm starting with the second verse now. But anyways, uh, the song after that... Um, the song about that is actually more about me. It's more about my... This is the... Uh, you said I could do anything I put my mind to, but that was not. But it wasn't true. You lied to me. You said I could be an astronaut or a superstar, that I'd go far, but you lied to me. Yeah. And that's like the hook, that's the chorus of the song. And um, it'd be more singing songy and format is sing songy not singy songy singy songy that's that how I want bitch yeah. but no and it's it's uh, it's just sort of this the whole point of it I guess is is because when I grew up literally that's the mentality we tell kids like yeah. you can do fucking anything 
Like, well, we don't quite say it that way. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's the mentality I said. Yeah. Well, they said we can do anything, and, and as as much as I like giving kids hope and shit, like that's not fucking true, man. I'm sorry, people listening, but you can't do anything. You can't. It's not possible. There are limitations in uh, the world. Say you can't do everything. You can't do anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> like you're you're useless. You're a worthless piece of shit. Because look at you. What are you doing? It's Wednesday. It's Friday night. You're listening to this podcast. Um, and not tonight. Tonight's not Wednesday night. But no, it's Friday night. You're listening to this podcast. And it's also not Friday. You should. You could be out with your friends. Yes. All right. <laughs> no. Anyways. No, I'm kidding. But no, like you said, you can't do everything. So you can't do everything you put your mind to. And like, it's all about how like we lie to children and stuff like that. Um. The other one is about um. A girl. So it's about a girl and a guy. And the guy is like a... He's kind of like a player. Um, kind of dude. Or he, he pretends to be a player. But he's like paying this girl to like pretend to be his girlfriend and to have uh, sex with him. So she's a prostitute. Um, she's an escort. <laughs> no, if she's, if she's pretending to date him, it's more of an escort. Sure. Just but saying. She's an escort. She's, she's a lady of the night. Okay. Um... And um, and it's basically what happens in the song is, it starts out with like him. He's like he's drinking, and then they have sex, and then like it fast forwards, and he has a kid. She ends up having a kid, and then it's her trying to get him to be like, you need to step up and be a man and be this kid's father. And he's all like, I didn't fucking want this. So it's kind of about that. Yeah. Um, and then the fifth song. So, sorry, I just I just realized I have forty seven followers on Tumblr. And I don't remember having quite that many. Uh, but gonna, I have... We haven't even put the podcast out, and I'm already helping you. I have 22 <laughs> drafts. Like, poems that I started, or at least titled. Finish that shit, bro! There's one that I just titled. Uh, <laughs> but haven't finished. And some of them are somewhat long. Some of them are, like, three lines. Some well, of them are, a, like, dude. ideas that I really want to do something with, but I didn't think of a way to do it at the time. Uh, also, one of them is just a list of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but <Fucking idiot. laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll put that shit out. Put All that right, shit well, out. So here's, here's a short one. That I, I have one more that I need to finish. finish here. I'm going to finish my segment real quick. Okay. The last one is about, is about a guy who is thinking about committing suicide. Um, and is talking about how the pain he feels on a day day basis mm -hmm. but yeah that's the last song that's what I'm working on in poetry what are you working on in your drafts well the top one here is faggot I think there's supposed to be you in there you said it's not you it's me but I knew it was just a show she never was a good liar that's beautiful man yeah I think so but was lying. it's <laughs> not quite enough for a full po yeah I know <laughs> it's not quite enough like for a full poem and so I haven't published it. There's one back when we were in Lowell. Play it, Louis. Of when I went out for a run one night, a run one night in the rain, and I like turned the story of me running into something that I would throw other s stuff in between. She told me that she wasn't. No, morning, I have. Like, I could tell she I wanted. Went out she was a good liar. Like, I went out for a run tonight. Between my door and the street, it began to rain. It kept running. I kept running anyway into the rain as it grew heavier. I had been too long since I had run, and I kept, and I had to stop to walk often. I turned back and chose a different path, not wanting to. I didn't finish that one, but in between those lines, are entire stanzas, but I haven't figured out how to finish that. <laughs> And so it's basically just, I went for a run, and then I came back. But in between, I say things like, we perceive uniformity as randomness, and humans are always striving to be better, though we, we inevitably face setbacks and failures. Mm -hmm. And I say, but phi is a ratio that is found in nature, proving that patterns do nature. exist. Nature. Nature. Hey man, I've been drinking. Nature, and I'm laying down. <laughs> so, you can't talk clearly when you lay down. 
uh, it inhibits my jaw from moving fully, and so it keeps my mouth closed. You don't even have, like, the fat and double chin I have, and I can uh, talk no, fine. No, I have a nice bushy beard. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Like, <laughs> moving uh, on. And there's so that's my new... Dead beat, that's dad my new. beats two kids. Beats kids who want to be just like dad, or so they say, in a room full of strangers at a family reunion with practice fake smiles plastered on faces showing only a hint of fear, but that no beating could beat it. Um, well, yeah, shit, so it's bro. dark. Uh, <laughs> and that almost seems that's like almost the about end, your real life. And I don't want that to be the end. So it's almost, it's just reflecting your I mean, own. I'm drawing things from my personal Yeah, life. maybe a little like bit. The family reunion Did your I went to dad, with a bunch of people. Dad beat know. you? Beat you as a kid? It was a time I remember him kicking me, but it's not like I got beat in the so, so, way. So, like, really. when you say kick, I imagine, like, a drop kick punting you out. Like. No, like, I was laying on the floor, and maybe he just wanted to flip me over or push me. Yeah, it was, so it was, it was a light foot, kick, yeah? But it felt like a kick to the ribs. Okay, it was a that kick seems like a, a wound back, me. like his leg half up in the, like halfway up to his waist in the no, air. It's not like he was <laughs> trying to boot a soccer <laughs> all across the field, but it, it was a love it tap. Hurt, love tap. Yep, yeah. it hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's like that time my uh, my brother was trying to get some stuff off my off my uh, off my face, so he kept punching me. That's what I mean. That's what he told me. And then they're just. There was just more and more red and we figure <laughs> out why. <laughs> Your face is I'm trying to get the great red off. Can make jokes about terrible things. Like that's why humanity hasn't been destroyed yet. It's because we can right. make jokes about the <laughs> tough stuff. About the terrible things that we do. Otherwise we would all just kill ourselves probably, right? Well. Alright, let's put this back up in the upbeat upbeat. Here we go. Alright, uh let me Why did the bitch cross the road? Because he wanted to get to the other side. Remember, people, women aren't bitches. Bitches are bitches. They can be a man or a woman. A horse is a horse, of course. Of course, unless, of course, that horse... Wait, no. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. No one can talk to a horse, of course, unless, of course, that horse is a famous Mr. Red. Copyright, I guess, on that. Some statute of limitations. So I just found this one. An hourglass can can be delayed if you keep flipping it over, but that takes energy and you'll fall asleep eventually. But time also isn't an hourglass, so you can't just put it on its side and win. I actually like that. Yeah, me too. We but should, like, I don't know if it's done. I don't know about a poem, but like we could we could put that as a line. Yeah. You know, you know, we should we should totally put that as a line. Well, maybe when this is done, you could read through these things. And Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get a Tumblr or restart you my own. You have one. <laughs> I don't know how to log on to that shit. Well, also, there's this one that starts out with, I am one of eight siblings. No. I so, Look, <laughs> look. I gave him to Twitter. I'm not giving him to Tumblr. I love the internet. I might give him to Reddit soon. What? That's it. No more. <sighs> so... I have no idea how long this is. Because it says 43... Oh, so it's 43 minutes and 39 seconds, I guess. Crap. So Wait, what? What was that? I think that's what that time means. 43 minutes, 50, 51. Yep. 52, 54, yeah. 55. Okay. Uh, cool. So I have this poem and I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Go on. So, I am one of eight siblings. We once thought we numbered nine, but then we were informed one was a fraud. I have but one of... what I have but one of what my large red-headed brother calls younglings. Thanks to fourth dimensional curvature, I do not travel in a line, and on my skin your kind has trod. I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> Like, I think it's supposed to be one of those things that... Personification we of the... were doing in 8th grade. No, we it's about the solar system. Is it? There are nine planets. Oh, the planets! That makes sense. Yeah. Mars is the red. Had a brother. No, that would be Jupiter. Jupiter, that's big. large and red. Yeah. I have but one... Oh, because... 
I have a youngling would be the moon. Okay. You're welcome. So... Nigga, you're welcome. It was supposed to be... Yeah, because I mean, it was supposed to be a challenge for other people to figure out, but now we just put this in a podcast and I can't publish this. You can still publish it. <sighs> I am. Like, <laughs> I can't publish it now. Nobody listens to our podcast anyway. Right? Like, come on. And man. nobody reads my Tumblr. <laughs> so... Except for those 40-something people. Neither of them create a problem. <laughs> Please listen to our stuff and follow us on social media and everything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Whisper in my ear everything you want to hear because I have a way with words and you have a way with me. You have your words. <laughs> anyway. That was good. Yeah. Guys, just a quick PSA in the middle of the podcast. If you if you happened upon this and for some reason 45 minutes in are still listening, um, I am CJ Sketch. On most things, you can find me, add me on the Facebooks, add me on the old Instagrams. Um, Subscribe to this YouTube channel, or if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, if I figured out how to do that yet, go to the YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash crazy is the new saying. That's all one word. I don't think you have to put in user anymore. You might not have to, but the point is, crazy is the new saying on YouTube. Please subscribe. Uh, Tom? Tom? Why are you doing this in the middle of a podcast? Because, because, I, look, if they don't make it to the end, you know, all right, guys, we need more. No. <laughs> no, I am not okay with this. Actually, I retract my previous statement of all right. No. <laughs> Fine, fuck you. Like, so, let's follow, talk about... Follow me on social media, not not Tom. Favorite poems. Favorite poems? My favorite, my favorite poem. That is a hard one. Yeah. I have my second favorite poem, a line from it tattooed on my arm here. Okay. But my favorite poem... You you talk out yours, and I'm gonna try. See, I don't even know. Why are you gonna have to do something like that? I don't know why. I I don't know. Come on, man. Because it'd be a challenge to think about. But S is for lisp is a good one. I remember. Yeah, I mean, tiny glowing screens part two is tiny glowing screens is is fantastic. Um, OCD is fantastic. Dear creationist, mating habit, mating rituals of a North American (laughs) hipster, like. I think I like, I mean, but classics are, like, I think I like E. Cummings, Sylvia Plath. Oh, classic poems? I don't know, just poems of all time. Like, Robert Frost, I think I like some. Yeah, I mean, I I enjoy the classics, but I don't think any of them are my favorites. Yeah, I don't care for uh, Shakespeare, but in The Twelfth Night, he has a character that's a jester. Mm. Who like sings songs and says a couple poems? I think and Ooh, I the things that the, the jester movie. says shows me that Shakespeare could actually write poetry that I like. He just tended to not. Yeah. So. Uh, and then there's there's like epics like Homer, and the Odyssey. Yeah. Or is the Odyssey by Homer? I don't remember. Yeah, Homer is the guy. Okay. Who wrote the Odyssey the other one? and the Iliad. The Iliad. That's the one. The Iliad and the Odyssey or. The Canterbury Tales are, are like poetry. Yeah, there's a... Um, in which case, I, I d- really did enjoy Paradise it. Lost, I've never been able to get through all the way. Oh. Because it's just ridiculous. Um, I would have to say, if since this, this we're almost to 50 minutes here, so we should wrap up pretty soon. So we don't have to wait another 24 hours mm. or so to, to get the podcast up. Um, so, my favorite poem... If I'm gonna be real quick about it and not truly think about it, yeah, would either have to be the one by Shane Koizikin, I think is how you pronounce his name, and I don't remember the title of it, but it's his TED Talk, yeah, um, where he's performing a poem about being a bully, and um, and that that one's really good. Or S's for List, um, is fantastic because it's really how I got into got into Watsky. Really? That's how? Okay. Yeah, I first saw S's for Lisp, and then... 
And then like later on, I, I you know, I, then it was like linked to White Kid Raps Fast, and I'm like, what is this? Yeah. I guess White Kid Raps Fast is maybe. And then Access for Lisp is really what, you know, caught me on. Um, if not, ooh. Oh, the f- no. All one color is a stu- Oh man, that is such a tough fucking. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back to. No, because I can definitively say the future. I'm gonna definitively say the future by Neil Hoborn is my favorite poem. Okay. Because it speaks to me on a personal level, and it's uh, so fantastic. But I, I love, I love Carver. I love uh, uh, one color with uh, him and Ollie, and uh, he's such a good poet. Those two people with the same last name. Yes. Keys. 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 The, um, yeah, the one about love, yeah, that is, oh man, that one's so good too. There's a lot of good, guys, if you ever, um, specifically Button Poetry, um, produces a lot of good, the Button Poetry circuit of poet, poets and whatnot, uh, there are a lot of fantastic poets on that, um, go to a local poet, Poetry Slam, really get into poetry, poetry I think is, um, is one of my favorite forms of uh, storytelling and whatnot. It just, in terms of, it's usually the that person. But what is your favorite poem, Tom? Is it by Ink, whatever? Ink Skinned? Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know. Because... You know, my favorite poem is no, it's All is Fair like, no, and Love I and never... <laughs> Love and War. <laughs> well, thank you. But <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> Um, it is a fantastic poem. Thank you. Uh, I don't... It's kind of like how Rise Against is my favorite band. But until I found them, I didn't have a favorite band. songs are also sort of poetry. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, I mean... So, Swing Life Away speaks to me. And, mm. like... What does it say? My thoughts in life... <laughs> Tells you to kill people <laughs> No, it's like go to a mental health. <laughs> we're just kind of slowly wasting time, but it's not really wasting time because we're enjoying it, being with friends, and just like it, it's it's the stage of my life that I'm in. Yeah. Or Have which which at the time in. it became my favorite song was the stage of life that I wanted to be in, wow. and now it is, and I'm hoping that when I create Topia, it will be like that. Mm. Because part of the song is let's pack our bags and move somewhere warm, which is what I want to do, and create Topia. So, like, when I create Topia, I can find a new favorite song. Until then, I think it's going to be Rise Against. <laughs> but, um... So if you guys end up going and finding my uh, Tumblr blog, I recommend you look at the people that I follow, because some of the poets I follow are really good. Because uh, it's not just ink skinned. There's uh, one girl, from, I think from Azerbaijan, something like that. Um, there's. I don't even know where the rest of the people are from, really. Uh, but. What's your favorite poem? That was the question. I don't know. <laughs> Choose one! Tumblr doesn't have favorites, they just have likes, so I, I can't, like. Choose Go one. and just find my favorite. Make a decision now, or you'll forget it. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Or you're gonna make a decision and regret that for the rest of your life. Daydreaming like a badass. The NC. Or I. I you know my favorite NC, poem is ESN thirteen. My favorite poem is life. If you think about it, life is kind of like a poem. And I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, anyways. All right, so you can't think of a fucking favorite poem despite yeah, asking the question, yeah, well, you little bitch. I used to really like purgatory poetry. I don't think I've seen much from it in a while. Okay. Just choose a poem. Whiskey at dawn. Choose a poem. <sighs> choose a poem. Tiny Glowing Screens Part 2. Sure, let's go with that. Tiny Glowing Screens Part 2. George Watsky. Check him out. Uh, check us out. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. If I've actually put this out on SoundCloud, please... Follow us on SoundCloud and go subscribe to the YouTube channel for other sketches and everything like that. Thank you so much for listening. 
Um, let us know if you want us to make a uh, official like YouTube uh, video where we present some poetry. Yeah, like a I poetry mean, well, video. I'm, I'm probably gonna do that, anyways. Um, yeah. Well, if no one wants us to, then we shouldn't. Also, no, let us know if you not, don't. No, no, no. Let us know if you do not want CJ to make a video of his poetry. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's tell us about all the hate. How much you hate us? How much you hated this? How hey, much you? You gotta totally welcome the haters like everyone else, or you're discriminating. They can hate, but I'm not gonna <laughs> ask them to hate. Like <laughs> they go to that it was source fed, and they <laughs> fucking Will went on. Um, Will went on Matt Lieberman's. Um, Twitter, his Twitter was still logged in on an iPad, yeah. they were doing comment commentary, and he tweeted out, tell me the worst shit you can say to me, I can take it. <laughs> and then Matt's like in the writer's room on Twitter, wondering where all this shit is coming from. <laughs> and there was some real bad stuff, and then he like, he tops it on the comment commentary, it was really funny. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for listening to this, uh, again, please subscribe, please follow us on social media. Uh, at CJ Sketch for most things, at Sketch Vlogs on Twitter. Uh, I don't post on Twitter, so don't follow me there, I guess. Uh, follow Tom, T, T O Monkey, to Monkey, for on most things. Um, yeah. I love your faces. Uh, you mean like this? Hee <laughs> hee. It's T he. T he. Shut the idiot. T he. Um. Shoes! YouTube! YouTube! Yeah. Um, more. Um, more! Come on, there's there's another one I know. Um, uh, don't forget to be awesome. Uh, make a video with every Tuesday. Go forth and do science. Yeah. Um, watch that, so... <laughs> I don't, and subscribe. Um, anyway, anyway, so those were not... Watsky! Watsky, yeah. Um... No, what is it? Um, don't judge me. There's the Justin Bieber. I made one. this for you. I made this for you. Yep, Julius. But oh man, YouTube is so great. Let's talk about YouTube in our next vlog, next podcast, which maybe we'll record right after this. Bye. Bye.